Hello. This is a little project I made of a floating catamaran home for a business that can take inside a couple of international transport trucks fully loaded. That's about a hundred tons. Let's start with that. As you can see, this is a folding door deck. At its bridge and the gate in the same time. Basically, it works like on a ferry boat, it does the job of the gate and of the bridge. And it doesn't want to open. I presume I'm using too much memory. However, behind all this, we have all this huge floor. Fueled by a stairway. It's coming straight down from the boat top level decks. A truck can stay here and the other one here, left and right of the main mast. I can enter here. This door is about five meters tall, three elements. When they unfold, they make a 15 meters long bridge so that it can unload the trucks or carts or whatever you put in straight to the shore or in the harbor without the need of cranes or other machineries. This is the storage deck nose. which is designed to can take strong tall waves this is the main deck now as you can see the main deck has a stairway that goes down at the connection bridge and from the connection bridge left and right there are three stairways that go down to the respective cabins. Each cabin is separated from the next one with a totally sealed wall. So in case of a bridge that brings water in, only this vein will be, for instance, flooded and the other veins remain dry. I took these measures because of the Titanic event a long time ago when the interconnection between the veins allowed for the water to flow the whole ship. The main deck in the rear has two stairways that go to the same level of the boat top deck. This is a kitchen area. It's about 5 meters long and 6 meters wide. So there's plenty of room for everything you need. Those lateral to the kitchen area are two restrooms. And here in the front, left and right of the stairway is the command deck 
where we should put the steering wheels and uh, the screens, radar and everything else. Everything is covered. By the main roof, that's basically sitting waterproof all around the boat. The main roof should be covered with photovoltaic cells all around. This is the rear. cover over the kitchen is openable so basically here there are hinges and uh, with uh, small actuators it should be opened up to allow fresh air in this is 6 meters wide or 5 meters tall the boat decks, the top decks are basically clear so they can be used as storage surface or they can be used to play football for instance because you have about 25 meters long 2.5 meters wide decks to do whatever you feel, see fit the catamaran floaters the boat As you can see, they are windowed all around. Those are round windows of 700 millimeters diameter. They also have inside windows towards the storage deck, so that there can be some light in the corridor. And they have a pretty good capacity to build in some roomy rooms. This is how I decided to divide the rooms. So basically, I have the stairways that come into a room. That room has a bathroom. And this is a ceiling wall that would not let the water go in the next condo. The stairways next to this wall they are also water ceiling all around so that the corridor that belongs to this room which is from this stairways to this stairways would be totally sealed next apartment starts here and has this bathroom between this and this one totally sealed from the next apartment that has this bathroom and the rest of it goes until the end of the deck here. Beneath there is enough storage area as you can see we have one meter tall or three meters wide where normally there should be the ballast. I decided to ballast the ship with transportation lead batteries for trucks and forklifts, both left and right, in which I shall accumulate electricity for the electric engine's propulsion and the other needs of the boat. Also beneath the deck there should be the source storage and the water storage. Since on the decks there is a lot of room, they can also be used for various types of fuel storage, water storage, stuff like that. This is the bridge that doesn't want to unfold because I'm using too much memories. As you can see, I'm also playing some music for myself.
and this is the bumpress. Now, when harboring, this bumpress can be lifted up vertically with two hydraulic pistons to shorten the ship because with the pompress down the ship is 31 meters long this pompress as you can see it misses two of the bars that should be in those holes it works like a cage that keeps in the ginocker that can be used when you have back winds and in between the bomb press and the two boat nose and the storage deck nose there should be a tight mesh on which people can walk to help with uh, the sails or simply to take a sun bath the main mast starts from the bottom of the storage deck trespasses the whole ship and above the whole ship is 23 meters of useful mast. On top of the main mast is a 2 meters tall, 2 meters diameter cage, observation cage, in which people can climb and take a look all over the sea. On top here, for each of the rays, I would place a pretty strong zoom video camera at least 30 per, if not 50 per zooming to can keep an eye on the long distance objects reefs and shores just to avoid trouble wrecking such a toy would be a real pity of course persons can climb in and do person observation or maybe the captain decides to punish somebody and send it up there for a couple of hours The anchorage of the main mast to the boat is just a sketch. I'm more than sure that much, that much more ropes would be needed. The back sails, this is a 10 meters long boom, and we have about 22 meters tall sail. That's going to be a heavy piece. Also the front sails, where you can put three of them, one for each of the main anchorage. They're going to be huge and heavy. And you can imagine the ginocker that can be about 30 meters tall and about 8 meters wide. What weight did that have? Therefore, in order for one person to be capable of governing this beast on any time of sea, on any type of sea, everything should be automated so that from the main deck somebody can lift or take down any sail any time without going out in the wind. Of course, there is foreseen that somebody can come out through here, opening it, and climb on the roof for any reasons. Also, somebody can get out here on the outside part of the top deck, jump on the mesh of the uh, bump press, and work on the sails here. There's still a lot of work to do before this toy would be ready, at least virtually, but it gives a general idea. Gentlemen, I hope to see it floating one day over the oceans.